Hi everybody, this is Chaplain Toby Quirk, and this is the Christmas service for the Soldiers' Home in Chelsea, Massachusetts. All my veteran friends there and anyone else viewing online, God bless you and I wish you a very blessed and fulfilling Christmas season. 2020. The narrative that we're looking at today comes out of the book of Luke in the second chapter. Most of us are familiar with it. It's about the birth of our Savior, Jesus Christ, in Bethlehem. And we're going to take a particular look at the baby, at Bethlehem, at the flocks of sheep, the shepherd, and the Lamb of God. We know when John the Baptist encountered Jesus at the Jordan River, he pointed to him and said, Behold, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. God bless you, and enjoy this message, this beautiful day. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria, and everyone went to his own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house in the line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. Here we have a map of the journey that Joseph and Mary took. That black circle near the top of the map, that's uh, Nazareth, a small town where they had lived and they were ordered to travel all the way to Bethlehem because that's the city of Joseph's tribe, the tribe of David. So they went south and then they had to turn east and cross over on the other side of the Jordan River and continue south along that side and cross back over through the city of Jericho and then on to the huge city of Jerusalem, and finally to the small town of Bethlehem, about 150 miles. This was where King David was born and where he lived. The small, unknown town of Bethlehem, right near Jerusalem. Now here's Linda picking up the story on verse 8 of Luke chapter 2. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flock at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you, he is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Now, if you listen closely to that scripture, that somehow a baby wrapped in swaddling clothes would be a sign to the shepherds. Now, how would it be that a newborn baby wrapped in cloths like this would be a sign for shepherds. And this is what I love about God's Word. You never quite get to the bottom of it. There's always something new to learn. I don't know how many Christmas services that I've taught or preached or sat in, but here's a new piece of history and information that I just found out a couple of days ago how that the shepherds would see this baby wrapped in swaddling clothes 
the shepherds would see that in a completely different way than almost anybody else in any other profession. I'll tell you why. Bethlehem was the sheep pasture that supplied all the sheep for this huge city of Jerusalem. And they needed hundreds of thousands of sheep in these sheep pastures around Bethlehem because when people came from all over the world to celebrate big feasts, especially Passover, every family needed to sacrifice a perfect, unblemished, firstborn lamb. Perfect, unblemished, firstborn lamb. So in order to provide this huge feast with so many brand new lambs, the shepherds had to isolate the firstborn and they had to protect them for months and months while they were still young lambs, but also for the sacrifices. And those newborn lambs would be sacrificed. So here's an article about that. It says that um, Passover, for instance, was an annual sacred feast that Yahweh himself instituted for Israel to commemorate their deliverance out of Egypt. During Passover, In Israel, the feast required thousands of sheep. One lamb needed for each household in all of Israel. During the time of David's census, there were 1,300,000 men beyond the age of 20. This census would suggest a population of near 5 million. This demand required an estimated of 250 thousand sheep to accommodate the Passover annually. Now, if we take a look at the time of Jesus' birth, after about 900 years after David, we see the Apostle Luke's account of what was going on. And the fields around Bethlehem were valuable grazing lands. The priestly shepherds still watched over the temple flock, both day and night. They were vigilant to protect all the sheep from their natural enemies, the robber, the wolf, the bear, and the lion. On the ground floor of this tower called the Migdal Eder Tower, there was a room designated for the delivery and the protection of these special lambs. Here they kept the sacred little lambs with a holy roll a manger ceremonial clean. And what the shepherds did was they would wrap up these unblemished lambs in swaddling clothes. And for them, they knew that all these little lambs in the ground floor of this big tower were wrapped in swaddling clothes and they would soon be sacrificed. So when the angel says to the shepherds, there will be a sign for you. It will be a baby wrapped in swaddling clothes in a manger. Without any hesitation, it would trigger in their hearts and in their minds the image of all these beautiful little lambs <clears throat> that they had been protecting that would soon be sacrificed. And these shepherds were good Jews, and they knew what the prophet said, that there would be a Savior born in Bethlehem, prophet Micah, and that the Savior would come, and the Savior would be sacrificed for the sins of the world. So, it was no coincidence, no mistake, that it was shepherds who were called to see this baby, that a sign for them would be a baby wrapped in the same kind of cloth that they wrapped their little sheep for the sacrifice, the Lamb of God, Jesus Christ, who came to take our sins away on Christmas morning. Now Linda's going to finish up this portion of Luke chapter 2. She's going to read verses 13 through 20. 
Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to men on whom his favor rests. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which was just as they had been told. So this passage of scripture has a lot of meaning to it. That these shepherds heard what the angels said, and they knew what they were supposed to do. They ran to the manger from their hills where they were tending their sheep. They saw the baby wrapped in the same way as their sacrificial lambs were wrapped up and they, they knew. They knew right then what had happened and they bowed down and they worshiped that little baby. I pray that you would have an atmosphere of worship in your life. That you would understand who this marvelous Savior is this Christmas day. That he came to teach us and to love us and he came to die for us on the cross. That we would take on the attitude of these shepherds who came to see what they had heard of and then they bowed down and worshiped and after they got done worshiping they ran and they told everyone that they knew this great thing that happened a baby born in a manger that would become our savior go tell it on a mountain over the hills and everywhere Kept there watching for silent flocks by night. The old throughout the heavens, there shone a heavenly light. The shepherds feared and trembled when low above the earth. salvation that blessed Christmas when I am a seeker I seek both night and day I seek the Lord to help me and he shows me the way he made me Watchman upon the city wall, and if I am a Christian, I am the least of all. Go tell it on a mountain, over the hills, and everywhere. Go tell it.
take advantage of this Christmas season. Tell him what you know. That you haven't had an encounter with the, the risen Lord. That you've experienced the worship of Jesus Christ. And just like the shepherds, go and tell people. on a mountain over the hills and everywhere go tell it on a mountain that Jesus Christ is born I pray God's blessings on you this Christmas season this end of 2020 I pray a blessing of God, a blessing of his love, a blessing of his grace, a blessing of his power in your life, that you would hear from him, that you would have ears to hear and eyes to see who the one true God is. May you be blessed by the hand of God in Jesus Christ, amen. God bless you, everyone. Have a wonderful Christmas. God bless you. <laughs>